Welcome back to another video. My name is Zahid. This is Mark. How's it going? And uh, if you clicked on this video, that means you're interested in installing a big wing on your car. Maybe an APR wing, maybe a CR wing. And you came to the right place because today we're gonna show you how to reinforce your Honda S2000 trunk with OEM Honda parts. As you can tell by looking at the car behind me, I'm not what the kids call part of the big wang gang. I'm kind of more in like the average medium wang gang. And hey, some people out there, they're part of the small wang gang. Just know there's nothing wrong with that. It's more about how you use your wang, not so much how big it is. Um, are, we, are we still talking about the wing or cars or what, what are we talking about? <laughs> Anyways, regardless of the size of your wing, it's important to reinforce your trunk so that you don't end up warping something down the line. A lot of times your trunk can get warped when you're maintaining high speeds over 100 miles an hour for a prolonged amount of time, say like you're at the track. So this isn't the biggest wing in the world, but it is important to reinforce it anyways, and that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna be doing uh, two types of bracings. Um, this one right here is gonna actually go right over here right around the uh, like trunk stopper, um, and it's gonna sit flush with the side here. And here is the other reinforcement brace. This is gonna go along the end of the, uh, the trunk here. And when we put it in, we are gonna want to make sure that the angle is uh, kind of facing, or the longer side is facing the actual trunk. So if you see that right here, we'll put it up right over there. Okay, before we get started, it's important to mention that all these pieces in this install came standard in the Honda S2000 CR. That means that you could still buy these parts directly from Honda like I did. All the part numbers are in the description below. We're going to start with the lower trunk lid stoppers. I began by measuring the distance between the two mounting points and then marking the spots with a center punch. From there, we drill the pilot holes followed by a 316 spit. I have to give a special shout out to the Overtake YouTube channel. Without their video, I probably wouldn't have had the balls to do this install myself. Also, a special shout out to Mark for helping me out today. It really helps to have someone bracing the trunk as you're drilling these holes. Now, this next part might seem like overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. We're using Rust-Oleum primer to cover up any exposed metal. You'll see me reuse this for all the holes drilled in today's install. As you can see, I didn't do the cleanest job, but it's totally okay. I mean, I learned my lesson, and if you're watching this video, you can do a better job than I did. I wasn't too worried about the overspray because it actually gets covered by the trunk stopper anyways. To close out this first part of the install, you're gonna go ahead and get the stopper and insert it into the holes that were drilled. You're gonna make sure that the long side is facing the trunk. Then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, followed by a quick test to see if the trunk closes properly. Very nice. Okay, now we can start working on the side bracing. Just like all the other ones, you're gonna start by marking the spots and drilling your pilot holes. Considering that we're using self-tapping screws here, uh, priming these holes probably isn't necessary, but I decided to do it anyways. Once the primer is dry, you can begin screwing in the self-tapper. You'll notice that there's some play within the bracket. That's so that you can get the self-tappers fairly tight and then adjust the bracket where it needs to be before you tighten it down all the way. Even though the install didn't call for it, I actually added washers here as well. Finally, we're at the last step in this install. And just like everything else, you mark the spots, you hit it with the center punch, and then begin drilling your pilot hole. We had to use a special attachment on our drill to get this angle, but you could probably get creative with it. Once you drill it out to the final size of 3 16 you can go ahead and prep it for primer. Just like that, you make sure to hit all exposed metal with the primer and then repeat all the steps on the other side like we already did. 
Prior to placing down the adhesive, we're going to prep this area with the surface prep spray. Then you can peel back the adhesive and get this protector into place here. Insert it into the holes and apply pressure to make sure you have a good bond with the body panel. When installing this piece, you want to make sure that the angled side is facing up. It's meant to wedge in between the body and the upper brace connected to the trunk lid. Then we're going to repeat the steps on the other side and that's it, you're good to go. You're going to test to make sure that your trunk closes properly and it should feel a little bit more snug than normal but that just means it's doing its job. Okay, this is it, moment of truth. I expect a little bit of resistance, but it should close. Ooh, <laughs> looks good, works good. But will it open? Yeah, hey. I, it definitely still feels like a little bit of resistance, which is probably a good thing. Okay, I would consider that another successful install. Um, you can't beat OEM, that's the thing. Everything fits exactly where it's supposed to fit. If you guys have questions about anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this year. And uh, shout out to Mark for letting me use his garage. Thanks man, super happy with it. I think that's a wrap.